bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Our guest this hour is Sonia Richens with Rainfree Incorporated. What is Rainfree? That's R-E-I-N. Yeah, like the reins of a horse. Yes, correct. It's a nonprofit that was developed for preservation of the Wild American Mustangs to educate the public on the crisis of the Wild American Mustangs in the boroughs, the current crisis. And how bad is the crisis? Okay, currently, the current crisis is there's over 33,000 wild mustangs and burrows in BLM holding pens right now, and they're all, pretend, they're all pending mass slaughter by the BLM right now. Uh, let, me, let me play devil's advocate with okay. you, Sonia. Why, why should we care about the fate of wild mustangs and burrows? Yeah, because they actually carried history on their back. They're noble, majestic animals. They, um, with the 1971 Free Roaming Act, they actually are wild species and should be protected that way. And in this situation, in Roundup pens, they're not where they should be. They're, there's over um, 33,000 of them in pens right now. And less than 15,000 are actually running wild. So Why are they in the pens? In the BLM holding pens? Right. Right now, they're rounding them up at, at, pending the potential decision if they want to slaughter them or sell them immediately, which could go to the meat market for slaughter, or, um, or just give immediate adoption to whoever. And, and then the last option would be the slaughter of all of them. You were telling me uh, earlier that, that you were raised uh, with and around uh, mm -hmm. horses. Yes. Can these wild mustangs be, what's the word, rehabilitated? Yeah. Can, they, can they be domesticated? Yeah, they can be gentled, we call it. Gentled. Yeah, okay, gentled. thank you. So we don't want to dominate the mustang, but it's actually building a relationship with that horse. So they want to be with you and want to perform for you. But yes, they can be gentled. Certain ones can, and some also need to stay wild and want to be in the wild where they belong. So, how did the how did they get wild to begin with? Okay, so back in the early 1500s, the conquistadors brought them over here during the Spanish the Spanish War, and they actually left a few here, and then they reproduced, and they got up to almost two million at a certain time. But now they've been managed almost to extinction, extinction to below 50,000 in number right now total. And that includes the ones in the holding pens and the ones running free. So, How many do we have in Utah and environs? Okay, there, there's um, wild mustangs in 10 different states right now in different holding pens. And I don't know the exact number in each holding pen. But they're totaling at 33,500 right now. But that also includes the little tiny desert burrows too combined. And that's okay, now you, you uh, are, in addition to your work with Rain Free, you are the executive producer of a documentary mm -hmm. on, on this issue. Yes. What's, what's the name of the document? The name of it is Mustango, meaning Spanish wild horse. Okay, yeah, all Mustango. right. Mustango. And, and this, is, uh, this came about because of this issue? This is another way to, to get the word out? Yes, this is another way to get the word out. It's been a three-year project just because of my love for the Mustang. And this current crisis evolved during my production and editing. So it's actually perfect timing that we're gonna premiere it you know, this year. So. And where and when does it premiere? Our first premiere would be, would be last month. Oh, okay. So right. that's in Salt Lake. And okay. then we're also hoping to be in Sundance and some other documentaries and also on some nature channels. All right, for awareness. And, 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 the, and the documentary just, just chronicles the life of a wild mustang, or, or yeah, the what's in it? It's actually the history of the wild mustang, and it also evolves to information about the mustang, what they are, how noble and majestic and wonderful creatures they are, and and then it evolves into the current crisis. So it's it's politically and every, historically up to date. We're yeah. So our final editing was just done last month. So it's a very current documentary. Oh, terrific. Well, good luck with it. Yeah. And we just hope to spread awareness yep. and protect these great creatures. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for being with us. Our guest has been Sonia Richens, executive producer of Mestanga. Yeah, or Mestango. Mestango. Or Mestanio. I'm Mestanio. <laughs> yeah. And I'm Don Olson for Comcast Newsmakers.